everyone's getting up and beginning their day. I guess we should do the same thing, eh, Diesel? What you got there, man? What you got? Come here, bring it here. Who is that? Is that a flower for your girlfriend or something? <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Get it off me, man. Get it off. Diesel, come here. Hey. Hey. Diesel. You sit? Let me take this thing off of you. He's got his... <laughs> Thanks, man. You ready to start the day? Got a busy day today. No skunks this morning. Thank God. I didn't see him yesterday either. Must have been a one-off thing. Just, you know, one of those things that only happens to me. But there were those other drivers too that were harassed by the sky. So it wasn't just me. Maybe they were still doing it last night as well, but I moved up to the front because I didn't want to be back there with them. So maybe they just, you know, hang around the back of the parking lot. So heads up in London, Ontario, back of the parking lot, there's a gang of skunks. They're not scared of you. I don't know what they want, but they probably want food or something. And they look angry. <laughs> But they're not around the pumps here. I guess there's too much commotion around here. Anyway, it's time to get going. Somebody around here wants some stuff. And I got it in my trailer, so we gotta bring it to them. This guy done, he's staying there. Okay. Let's go. Off to work we go. I need to clean this windshield. Oh man, I can't believe I didn't do that in all the time I spent here. Toronto, thank God, and they reward us with an open scale. Meander our way over this thing here. Hopefully they let us go through without any trouble. I'm not 
overweight. Forward, 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 and leave. Okay. I got the green light. Let's get out of here before they change your mind. It's kind of funny at the scale or inspection station, there's a big flashing sign that says, trucks can park or rest at inspection stations. I appreciate that. Sometimes we have a lack of parking, but no thank you. <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. I don't like parking at inspection stations for night. That's like a, that's like the lions putting up a sign outside the lion's den for Daniel. Hey Daniel, if you want to, you can sleep here tonight. Another successful on-time delivery by Trucker Josh. One, two, three. Uh, this was delivery three. Here it is. Yeah, so I gotta let them know that, hey, I made it and now I'm leaving. I'm leaving stop three in Oshawa space O-N. P.O.D. was signed. No damages. And sent. Now for my next delivery is the biggest one. This is all one customer. We're gonna be there a while. 289 pieces. Individual pieces on the floor. No pallets. Wouldn't want to make it too easy for me. Oh, and then there's some other ones in here. Oh my. Yeah, this is gonna be, uh, yeah. Let's see, we're gonna be there in 15 minutes and it's just down the road. I'll talk to you after, how about that? This guy pulled up, parked right in front of me, blocked me in. He's coming back though. I think he had to like move his van over there or something. But there's like a thousand other places he could have parked, but he decided to come and block me and that guy in. And that guy over there needs to move because he's in my dock. He's apparently not supposed to be here, but he just backed in. Uh, see, this guy's moving, he's not a problem, whatever. But that guy's not supposed to be there, so they're trying to get him to move. And he hasn't moved yet, so I don't know what. Apparently he didn't have an appointment for today, he's not supposed to be here. Shorter Josh had an appointment and he was on time, so they're gonna kick him out of my dock and put me in the dock. Isn't that nice when, when that happens? You know, so often you, you show up for your appointment to a customer, and they're like, oh, we don't have a door open for you, you'll have to wait. Then you, but I had an appointment. Yeah, well, we don't have an open door for you right now. But you were expecting me. So often that happens. But here, anyways, it was a nice, refreshing surprise to actually have my appointment honored. Like, I, I pulled up here and they told me to go to the dock, and I'm looking here. There's no docks available, right? Nothing. They're all full. And so I go inside, I had a good attitude. Remember, you don't want to go in there all furious because that won't get you anywhere. And I just told him, it looks like all the docks are filled up. The one you told me to go to, there's a truck in there. He's like, oh, who's in there? And he went and checked it out. I said, oh, he's not supposed to be there. I'll tell him to get out. Because he didn't have an appointment and I did. Thank you very much. Very nice. It's hot. It's really hot. Here's another guy coming in here. I'm not in the middle of the lot either. I'm in a parking spot. See, there's other trailers parked beside me here. But I feel like I'm very much in the way because everybody just keeps... It's a tight yard. I gotta wait for that guy to get out of my dock. Always make an appointment. So those of you new drivers or, or thinking about getting into trucking, appointments are very important. Sometimes it's, it's first come, first serve or FCFS. Sometimes they'll put that on the paperwork. First come, first serve. Well, in that case, I would have had to wait for my dock now because he got here first. However, some places like this place have strict appointment times and they want you there on time and they'll have a dock ready for you. And if you're late, they're gonna give your dock to the person who is coming after you if they get there before you, then you'll have to wait for his dock time or vice versa. Or sometimes you'll have to reschedule the whole appointment for the next day or even further. Worst case scenario. That's happened before too. If you show up late, or uh, if they forget that you're coming or whatever, they make you wait till the next day. You don't want that to happen, so always call ahead to your customers, okay? If, you, if you're not sure, unless if you're specifically told by your dispatch not to, just double check, make sure, you know, they know you're coming. It's a good good idea. I don't 
always do it because if I know that it's a first come first serve, I'll just get there when I get there. But you guys get it, you guys get it. It's, I'm just kind of happy that they actually are honoring my appointment. And I don't know why this guy's not moving. I know he's in his sleeper. Huh. Huh. Guess we just have to wait and see. Then they're gonna take uh, a couple of hours to unload me because it's it's a pretty big load and I, I offered my help. I said, I'll help them with it. And they said, thanks, but no thanks. We can't have drivers on the dock. The sickness. So, all right, well, I guess I'm having a nap. At least there's one good thing to the sickness, eh? Got me out of work. <laughs> they, they didn't want me to work in there. Usually I, I would go in and help, but they said it's special circumstances now because of the sickness. I don't have to work. Diesel, you're stuck hanging out with me, man. A couple of hours. Maybe we'll play some more Civilization. I still haven't taken over Melbourne. Remember from yesterday? Australia keeps attacking me. I still haven't retaliated. I've been, uh, you know, patiently waiting. Thinking it through, making sure I retaliate appropriately. All right, bud, out you go. Out you go, that's my dock. Thank you very much. Which way are you going? Are you going this way? Oh, then I gotta back up a little bit here. I thought you were gonna go the other way. Can you make it? Nah, he's got it. He's got it. How dare you try to steal trucker Josh's dock. Just going quickly, give it the check. Straight. Man, we look pretty in line with this line. Ta -da. We'll see once we get here. Mm, looks good to me. The only thing is, without me in there, uh, well, it's a lot of the trailer is going here. It's my biggest drop by far. You saw that wad of paper. Not the whole trailer's going here. And usually I'm in there double checking, making sure they don't take anything that's not theirs because then we have to reload it later, right? So I had to explain to them now exactly how to identify their stuff. They know how to, but I had to make double sure that they're not gonna unload the whole trailer, okay? Because then you gotta load everything back in, in order for my next deliveries, right? So I got North Bay and uh, another one up there, uh, Ottawa and Montreal. Dorval is in Montreal, I've seen your comments. My paperwork says Dorval. That's why I said that, but that's Montreal. So I got four more deliveries on here yet, at least. Don't unload the whole trailer because you're gonna have to put it back on if you do. Because I'm not in there, it's not my fault if they do, right? They want me out here. It's not their fault either, but. The world's a mess. 2020, everything is different. And... But hey, <laughs> at least I got something good out of it today. Diesel, guess what? The sickness got me out of work today, man. I gotta sit in here and just relax, play games. What do you think of that? Very nice, man. Very nice. Well, they got us out of the dock. That took a little while, but I was expecting that. It was quite a big delivery. So, got my padlock on here now, because that was my last delivery of the day. now even though I got cargo left in my trailer and I'll be parking overnight probably in North Bay I don't have to worry about people getting in my trailer and if they end up getting in the trailer at least I know right diesel shame on me always got to be wearing a hat how unprofessional of me okay we got uh, 311 kilometers to go that's about three hours a little bit more than three hours of driving and uh, should be there, according to Karen here, should be there around 9.30 tonight. Let's skedaddle. I gotta find some coffee yet. Hopefully we'll pass by an on-road on the way up there. What's the time now, five o'clock? When did we get here? We got here at one o'clock. Four hours, wow. They did have quite a bit to do in there. Probably took them a little longer also because I wasn't in there to help them. They they wouldn't let me. Oh well. I should have had a nap. 
I just fiddled around on my computer. Australia attacked me again. I still haven't taken Melbourne. I'm waiting. It's gonna be huge. been a great day we got everything done that we had to get done tomorrow's another day we're getting here to North Bay right now I'm stopping at the Petro Pass just south of town hopefully I'll find myself a parking spot here figured this would be a good spot I got the Timmy's right here I guess I could grab some fuel I don't really need fuel yet but I'll see how much parking there is if there's plenty of parking then I'll get some fuel tonight if there's like only one spot, I'm just gonna grab that spot so nobody else does. Holy high beams. High beams, buddy. Wow. Oh, I got purple spots in my eyes now. I can't read the signs. Oh, this is new. Oh, they got a Burger King here now. Oh, that came up fast. Wow. Wait there, Diesel. I gotta get the bed ready first. Gotta throw your pillows up here for now. Oh there we go. Okay. Gotta vacuum up the day first, you know? Diesel likes to take a little bit from everywhere and leave it on the bed. And this is his sheet. I take it off for the night. But when I take it off, if I don't do this first, then uh, it just goes into the air and lands everywhere else, you know? Vacuum all the dust and hair off of here. You can get these vacuums at Walmart. Just a shark cordless. It's a pet vacuum. Works really good for me. You've seen it many times. And I empty these out. It's not perfect or anything, but I empty it out. And if you want to know a little trick, another Trucker Josh tip coming at you. You ready? You take some Lysol. Just give the inside of it just a little bit of a squirt like that. Make sure it's on the, the side that doesn't suck right into the motor, okay? Put that back in there. Put that on there. Now you have a vacuum slash air freshener. Makes the truck smell great while you vacuum. If your wife don't find you handsome, she should at least find you handy, right? Famous saying. All right, and then I take off this sheet, but careful not to take off the other sheet because the other sheet is my sheet. I wanna leave that on here. Oh, there's a fly in here. You little demon, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Oh, I had you. Oh, he's gonna die. All right, okay, see, and then I, Wrap it in on itself, throw it up here, take my pillow from up here, throw it down there, bada bing, bada boom. I've got a bed, nice and clean. <laughs> 